Hi, I'm Dave Vernier, founder of Vernier Software and Technology. I'm here to show you something new and exciting. This is LabQuest 2. LabQuest 2 is the most exciting product we've had since our original LabQuest came out in 2007. It has a large, high-contrast color screen, and it comes with a stylus. It can be operated with a stylus, but most people will use their finger and just operate it tapping your screen with your finger. Uh, LabQuest 2 has a special high contrast mode for use in the sun, and it has an accelerometer, so it can be used either in portrait or landscape mode. Here is landscape, but if I rotate, it picks up on that and we get a different orientation. For those of you familiar with the original LabQuest, you'll find this very familiar, but we have the same basic arrangement. We have a meter tab. We can view the data as a graph. We can view data in a data table. We can look at the uh, Lab Notes tab. Now, in this case, I've loaded the Sound Waves and Beats file from our Physics with Vernier book, but there's over 100 labs that come included with LabQuest 2, and we have a tool on our website that allows you to move any labs you want to the LabQuest 2. Finally, there's a Notes screen where you can type notes for your lab experiment. And as you would expect, the LabQuest 2 works with over 70 of our sensors. We have analog ports and digital ports. And the LabQuest 2 comes with built-in sensors. It has the two sensors that the original LabQuest had, that is temperature and microphone. But the things we think teachers will be most excited about are the new sensors. It has a built-in GPS system so teachers outside can geotag their data. It has a three-axis accelerometer, and it has a light sensor right here that you can use for simple light experiments. Well, I can't resist doing a lab here. I've got the, this LabQuest 2. So let me do a quick experiment. I'm going to plug in a surface temperature sensor. It's a very sensitive temperature sensor that we sell. And I've got a copper tube. Let's take some data. I'm going to explore the temperature below the copper tube. And now let's explore a little bit above the copper tube. Let's go back down below. And of course the whole idea is that we want to show that there's heating from my hand and there's a convection current coming up through the uh, copper tube, and you get like a chimney effect. Now I want to show you some other things about the LabQuest 2. It comes with a number of built-in apps other than the LabQuest app, which we've been using for data collection. But now I'm going to show you some other things that are built right into a LabQuest 2. If I tap on this icon here of the home, you'll see several icons of other things to use. For example, there's a periodic table. If I look at this, you'll see uh, I can tap on any other element I want and get information about that element. Uh, if I go back to the home, you'll see another fun function generator app here that I like to play with. It, notice it generates uh, sound waves. If I tap here, I'm getting a 1,000 hertz sound wave. It's two function generators, so I can change this one to a higher frequency and get beats. I can stop that. And let's go back and let's look at what else we've got. Well, we've got um, in this folder here called accessories, we have several things. We have a calculator and we have a stopwatch. If you look right next to the home icon that we've been using, I think you'll see another interesting icon. That's a symbol for Wi-Fi. LabQuest 2 has built-in Wi-Fi. And this opens great possibilities for something we call the connected science system. A LabQuest 2 can broadcast data to any device that has a browser, and that can include smartphones, Android devices, any other computer, or even iPads. And you'll learn more about that in the next segment. I'm Robin Johnson, and when I was teaching science, I used Vernier products. I found that my students were always more engaged in their learning when using technology to investigate and collect real data. LabQuest 2 is ideal for this. In addition to being a robust data collection device, LabQuest 2 has built-in wireless connectivity. This unique feature makes it the heart of what we're calling the Connected Science System. 
The Connected Science System is a networked collection of technologies that support data sharing and collaboration in new and unprecedented ways. It allows students to collect once, analyze anywhere. Here are some examples. Data from LabQuest 2 can be shared in real time among multiple students in a lab group on iPads and other mobile devices. Students can send their data home for independent analysis or submit the data directly to the instructor. And you can view and control LabQuest 2 right from your own computer. Let's take a look at each of these new features of the Connected Science System in more detail. We'll start with Vernier DataShare. DataShare allows students to use any device with a web browser, such as an iPad, iPod Touch, or Android device, to collect, view, and analyze data coming from a LabQuest 2. Imagine your students using LabQuest 2 to measure temperature. Each group member around the table can use their own mobile device to view the data in real time, manipulate it, and then take it home. Every student ends up with their own copy of the data for independent analysis. And again, this works on any device with a web browser. It could be an iPod Touch, iPad, Android device, or even a computer. If your school has iPads, you'll be interested in our new app, Graphical Analysis for iPad. Graphical analysis for iPad works the same way as DataShare, but also takes advantage of iPad features, such as multi-touch and advanced networking and exporting capabilities. Picture a group of physics students gathered around a dynamics track, all with their iPads. The data are streaming in from LabQuest 2 and two motion detectors, giving each student a one-to-one -one experience with the data. These data are automatically saved to a collection for students to revisit at any time. Plus, just like the original graphical analysis computer program, data can be manually entered for unlimited graphing and analysis opportunities. So, what if you don't have iPads and your students don't have mobile devices available? Well, you can still take advantage of LabQuest 2's wireless networking. Here's how. Let's say your biology students just collected photosynthesis data with a LabQuest 2 and a CO2 gas sensor. They can now send that data directly from LabQuest 2 to any email address. This means that students can send data home for further independent analysis or directly to you, the instructor, for evaluation. Finally, our new LabQuest viewer allows you to view and control LabQuest 2 directly from your computer. You can use this in several ways. If you have a projector connected to your computer, you can project your own LabQuest 2 as a demo or as a way to teach students how to use a LabQuest 2. You could also share class data by projecting from a particular student group without them having to leave their lab table. You'll find many ways to increase collaboration using LabQuest Viewer. All these components of the connected science system with LabQuest 2 at the center create new ways for students to connect in the science classroom. By increasing collaboration and individual accountability, student learning will improve. Nothing out there even comes close, and we're excited to see how you will take advantage of these new tools in your teaching. For more details and requirements on how to implement these features, go to vernier.com/css. The Connected Science System.